Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And in today's episode, I am doing what I've always called the Foyer Challenge. Uh, but now, I guess it will just be called like the First Room Challenge or the Starting Area Challenge. I don't know, whatever you, however you want to refer to it. So the uh, the challenge is very simple, uh, but in the new Call of Duty, it is taking on a much different form. So the challenge is basically that I am not allowed to leave the starting area. I can do whatever I want within the starting area, whatever the game you know makes available to me, but I can't leave the starting area. So in the past. Whoops. In the past, this has always meant that, you know, like in Keener Dare Toten, for example, which is the first map I ever did the challenge on, that room had a little bit of mobility, but not much. Um, and it had um, two weapons on the wall that I could buy, right? So you start with a pistol in that version of the game, and then there was a double barrel shotgun on the wall that I could purchase. And um, there was a, uh, like a rifle of some sort. I honestly don't remember what it was at this point. It's been a while, but that was it. That was all that you had. And it was a pretty difficult challenge. It was hard to get, you know, farther in the game. It was pretty limiting. Uh, but another thing, too, though, was that the zombies had to come in through various openings, right, that you could board up. And you could try to control the flow of the zombies a little bit by doing that. So that's one way that this challenge will be different, is that the zombies come in from multiple directions, none of which are ways that I can actually, like, board up, right? They're, like, totally unique into themselves. Um, there's also no... Uh, weapons that I can purchase off of any wall. So the weapon that I came in with is the only weapon that I'm getting, which is the Stoner 63. Uh, I do, however, have a crafting table. So I do have access to that. Uh, I'll tell you what my goals are. So big goal of mine is to save up enough of the big scrap, the rare scrap, to get a chopper gunner. I feel like that's something that would be monumentally helpful. And then um, I definitely want to be able to get the monkey, if possible. Huge uh, distraction to the zombies, super effective. Uh, and I think that's going to be really helpful to progress this. But if I'm being honest, like I don't know if I'm going to even live long enough to be able to get stuff like that. This is going to be really challenging. I can tell you that from just from playing the game thus far, the, the zombies get really strong, right? So, um, the gun that you start with, whatever weapon it is that you you know pick up up, uh, up off the rip, is uh, man, I should have used shroud. Now that I'm thinking about it, not the mine. Being able to like fade away and not get hit for a period of time I think would be more valuable than a mine. A mine's killing stuff for sure, but I feel like a shroud would be a, a better choice. If I ever wanted to attempt this again solo, I would probably go with shroud. Anyway. Um, yeah, the gun that you spawn in with is a tier 1 or a common gun and I have found that uh, pretty quickly the effectiveness of this gun is heavily reduced, right? Like, it, it's just the, the amount of firepower, the damage per second, if you will, of the gun is not up to snuff with what these uh, zombies are, are dishing out. So, I feel like that's for sure going to be a problem. And I think that's where we're going to run into the biggest problem. We have a, a fair amount of maneuverability. You know, we can really move around this map uh, in the starting area. Like, in Kinodera 2, 
you did not have that much maneuverability. There was basically a big circle where you can go up one flight of stairs and down another, and that was like the gist of it, basically, right? This time we have a pretty large area that we can do a pretty big circle into. Um, so I feel like that definitely works in our favor, but only to a point, right? Like, it's still obviously going to be super challenging. Another We've actually gotten quite a lot of uh, stuff now, I feel like. Yeah, we have 900 of the normal stuff. So, like, I feel like monkeys are good, but definitely starting off uh, stuns will get me out of trouble. We're not getting a lot of the rare stuff, though, so that's a problem. Yeah, you can already see, like, if you're not getting headshots, like, the amount of damage you're doing is not huge. One thing I will say about this challenge, uh, in the past, though, is that the dogs would never show up if you didn't open the first set of doors. I swear that that one zombie's crawling up there. Like, what's <laughs> the purpose of that? Ooh, that was a lot of kills, though. Okay, right there, the mine definitely panned out. Oh, we are almost actually out of ammo. Oh, that's another thing this has, though. This has a... Oh, no, okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, this has an ammo cache right over there. So we can actually buy ammo if we need to. It's literally the only thing that we can actually spend currency on hilariously. It's like I'm earning all this money and like literally all I can spend it on is, is ammo. Which is actually really inexpensive, so we really don't have much to actually spend it on. You know what? I'm gonna switch the tomahawk with C4. I feel like C4 is better. I feel like that's gonna help us out more okay god i can technically afford a monkey now that's awesome but i have a stun so I'm, i would like to use that first Ooh, yay new camera so i have a challenge for the viewer oh god this is a problem this is already a problem Oh, I stunned myself. Like a champ. Okay. It's almost like I can't miss. <laughs> I have a challenge for you, the viewers. Um, I'm I've done the foyer challenge a few times. I've done it for many maps. I think I even did it multiple times just for peanut air You know, like multiple attempts. I have no idea, though, what, like, my record is. Like, what's the best that I've ever done on this challenge? Whether it was on Kinodor Toten or any other map. I feel like, I don't know why, but my memory of the situation is that the best that I ever managed to do on Kinadare Toten was uh, round eight, I think. Uh, which wouldn't surprise me, honestly, because it is a pretty difficult challenge. And again, on Kinadare Toten, you were really limited in the weapons. The double barrel shotgun and semi automatic rifle were really not the bee's knees. Didn't really give you a whole lot to work with. You know, um, so I feel like round eight was probably the best I ever did. It really is a difficult challenge to get past that. Obviously, with this one, like we can get farther than that because we kind of already are. But the it doesn't take much to slip up. I mean, we can't 
you know, get any kind of perks whatsoever. We can't even get a backup weapon. Like, my secondary is my fifths. So all we have is the Stoner 63, and we have to do these really long reloads every time. Like, it's definitely... Oh, I made a lot of crawlers. Holy shit. That was fine. Oh, no way. Dude, armor. That is an awesome drop for us. Holy crap. Okay, definitely don't need double points, but whatever. Um... Ooh, what he drop? Oh, well, I have monkeys now, so... Worthless. Oh, more C4, though. Hell yes. Okay, how are we doing? Not even close. I just... Honestly, I have, like, a goal at this point. Like, if I can just get one chopper gunner, I'll feel very successful. But that's going to be insanely difficult. Oh, God, I need to buy ammo. Yeah, that's... Yay, we spend points on something. I'm super curious to see if dogs will happen, though. So, yeah, because I've... In any map I've ever done this before... If you never open the first door, dogs never show up. So, definitely curious to see if dogs show up. What did he drop? Yeah. I feel like the monkey is going to end up becoming necessary in a situation where there's lots of zombies, and I have to reload. Because... It takes so long to reload this. If they're grouping up too much and I can't get through them or around them, I feel like that's when the monkey's going to come into play. Nice. Oh, a new. Sick. Oh, my God. Round 10. Dude, I honestly wasn't even sure that I'd be able to get to round 10. This is going pretty good. Um... I can actually almost get a second monkey. That's nuts. Did anyone drop anything when they died? Doesn't look like it. Tomahawk. Ooh, actually right here. Oh. They're getting quicker, I will say that. That's the other thing. I really wonder... If we don't see dogs, then I can almost guarantee that we also won't see... Specials. Oh, God. That guy was... Yeah, they're getting quick. This is... Yeah, this is already getting pretty dense. That actually hit me? What? Oh, because it stuck to the zombie that was running at it. Okay, yeah, that's a bad thing. Yeah, this is getting pretty intense. They're, they're, a lot of these zombies are getting quicker. I'm definitely going to have to spend stuff on... Oh, nice. On, uh... Scrapping, if possible. Ooh, we'll drop, we'll drop, we'll drop, we'll drop. Oh, my God. That's very useful. Okay, let's reload and then pick that up. Very, very useful. Raptor 1 is nearby, strike team. Right, I'll take a Molly. Short, so take it now if you're ready. What? No, Molly. Not a Tomahawk. A big group, the Molly is actually probably pretty good. Let's just buy more ammo. We're going to need it. It's funny. It actually is still triggering the uh, the exfil, but obviously we can't do it. Oh, my God. Whoa. Yeah, these dudes, they're spawning in hella quick. And they're moving really fast. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is going to get dicey fast. Also, my gun is definitely losing its effectiveness. Yeah. Army C4. Oh, oh, oh God! I'm so low in health. Oh God! Get away from me! I need to heal. Oh, thank God I'm healed. <gasps> Get wrecked. Oh my god, that was a very fortuitous nuke. 
Dude, this is actually getting hella intense. No dogs, though. We would we would have for sure had dogs by now. God, I can not get that. Okay, whatever. I think we can get another uh, monkey, though, if we need to. So that's good. Oh, I'd much rather have the C4. The C4 was definitely working out. Oh, God. Oh, frigger. Someone's hit me in the back already. Dropped another one. It's taking so many bullets to kill one time. Nice. <laughs> That's a good one. Definitely going to be relying heavily on explosives because, yeah, zombies. Did they drop? Yeah, they dropped stuff. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. Look at all this rare stuff, guys. Walking up. <gasps> no way! I was walking backwards and totally not paying attention and went up a staircase. Oh my god, bro. I was like, wait, why am I elevated right now? That was actually the worst. Okay, so there's our one free self revive. So if we want to have another chance at this, we need to buy a self revive. Oh god, I'm getting stuck on the tank. Dude, I'm making like. Weird rookie Johnny mistakes right now. Okay. I'm just buying this. I don't even want to have to reload. I have so many points. Okay. Support. Wait, no, not support. Te wait, is it support? It is. Oh, it's locked. I can't buy a self revive. Well, rip. Okay. So that was our one self revive. We are going to buy another monkey, though. All right, so we don't have a self revive. We have to be very conscious of that. I also don't have a lethal. Oh my god, should have bought a lethal. Oh god, dude, they're so quick now. I'm gonna throw a monkey pretty early in this round. Because I I want the monkey to get a bunch of damage in. You know what I mean? Like it'll hurt a lot of them. It'll give me a chance to reload and heal. Oh god. Nice. Oh god. Yeah, this is getting really challenging. Oh, I have one of these. Yeah. Nice. That's a good one. Oh, what did he drop? I don't care about double points. Oh god. I'm trying to just use one monkey in the round if I can avoid it, but holy shit. We're getting a lot of these rare things, though. I mean, we might actually be able to get a chopper gunner at some point, which would make me so happy. Oh, nice. Got another camo. Hell yes, dude. We're getting a lot of camos for this. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but I am determined to get all the camos for zombies. Like, that is a huge goal of mine for this game. By the time we're done making videos for zombies, He's the last one. So we're going to run around real quick to see what was dropped. I'm going to leave him alive for a second if we can. Hmm. Um, I should probably just buy another monkey. I wish I had a way to get armor, bro. Jeez. Uh, yeah, we're going to buy another monkey. Oh my god, we're getting there. Obviously, these regular zombies don't drop a lot of the rare materials, so it's taking forever to get a chopper gunner. <laughs> it's going to be really expensive for that one-time use. I probably could have used those better, but oh god, I got stuck on something. I got to really be conscious of how I'm backpedaling. Man. That is what's going to be my I'm doing. <gasps> Job, 
Nice. Talking about the job on Yeah, I think a monkey kind of like earlier in the round is a good thing because it's killing off a huge chunk of the zombies. It's giving me a chance to reload after my first roll. Oh god, that was almost the end of the video right there. That was a good frag. Hell yes, let's go. Okay. Are there any lethals dropped? I see some stuff on the ground. Nope, it's a stem. Okay, don't need that. Why? 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 Oh, it's a crawler. I was like, what? I'm trying to maximize this. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we got more ammo. Can I get a monkey? Not even close. Getting real close to the chopper gunner, though. Oh my god, start the round. Half this insta kill is done. Get out of here, bro. No way. What? What? Are they actually spawning in a special? Oh my god. No way there's a special right now. Okay, we're throwing a monkey. Yeah. No fucking way, bro. That's insane that they're spawning in a special when there's I haven't opened any doors. That's it for you, buddy. I that's I'm just speechless right now that there's a special fucking battlefield. That is insane to me. I I don't see how. I don't see how. Now that there's a special, oh my god, I'm literally almost dead right now. No, I never got my chopper gunner. I wanted it so bad. Give me this grenade. I didn't pick it up. Awesome. I'm so close to dying, dude. Oh my god, there's a special. That is insane. I'm still not over that. So they're... <gasps> they're not spawning in, in dogs, but they're still spawning in, like, insane radioactive special things. Okay, got it. This insta kill might be my saving grace. Infected threat removed. Keep the gun distraction window. We actually got him split. That's insane. Let's go. I have no monkeys. I have no monkeys. I have no monkeys. I have no monkeys. I need a monkey. There's no chance. Oh, did I get one? I don't know. I don't think I had enough. I don't think I had enough. There's, I'm screwed. There's no shot. Oh, that's a Semtex? I thought that was a fucking... Okay, whatever. Keep that up. I stunned one zombie with that? How? How did I stun one? There was no chance. There was no chance, dude. Oh, I can't believe they spawn in specials. Let's go, though, bro. Round 15, 387 limbs. I feel like that's a pretty solid freaking attempt, man. Oh, we were so close to getting our chopper gun or two. I feel like we literally were like 10 or 20 away. That's it. That's literally the key. If I could just survive long enough to get the chopper gunner, I could use that to kill the specials, and I would be fine. The fact that I even got the special to split... Can we just talk about that for a second? Bananas. All right. I'm fucking on board. Huh. <sighs> that was actually hella hard. I'm it's I'm cracked. Like, I can't believe how much we leveled the stoner and stuff, too, just from never leaving that area. Well, that turned out to be way more of a banger than I thought it would be. That That was awesome. So thanks, everybody, for coming out. I appreciate the view and support, as always. If you liked that challenge, give the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And all of you should hit that uh, bell icon that YouTube is so fond of. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any challenges that you would like me to try out. And I'll see you in the next one.